Why is Jeff Van Gundy commentating in the in Miami during the playoffs? Does he have some sort of death wish or something? Is he the equivalent of Charles Bronson in these playoffs? New York's doing a good job with shot choices and passing prior to the first time out. Uh, overall, they're shooting around 33%, a little worse sometimes, a little better. And then Miami later on had like 67%. A little more on th that issue later on. Baron Davis was on fire like in the first quarter. He made 7 and later 10 points of what was the Knicks' first 15 points. Like He's, he's basically the Carmelo Anthony of the team early on. Uh, however, he, he got a little sloppy later on. Like, before he was really good at... He wasn't having as many turnover problems. And then later on, I felt like there was this one play where I thought, like, Carmelo Anthony was really pressuring him into passing the ball. When one, he was nowhere near to be open. And then two, Baron Davis didn't make it a good pass. And three... Carmel Anthony wasn't shooting well. And four, Bar Baron Davis was shooting well and should have tried for a shot. Um, I forgot how badly Carmel Anthony was shooting today, but it was definitely not like the rest of last month where Carmelo was shooting 40 points and stuff. Like, if the Knicks are going to win, they're really going to have the need Carmelo Anthony on their game. Because, like, without... Without his sport shooting, like, everybody else seemed to, like, have died down a little. Uh. Balthier made a big three on the Miami side right after, like, Baron Davis was scoring a couple of points. However, later on, he did nothing offensively. But was quite a defensive asset for Miami later on. Slowing down the Knicks when they had a 30-point deficit. On the Knicks side for for uh, defense, Amari and Novak and a couple of the Knicks guys had a couple of fouls. Some of them were a little flagrant because they had both arms, you know, coming around onto the onto around the body of another player. Hug of death, ah! But uh. Yeah, it wasn't like a, it's like a spear or, a f it wasn't like a spear or a football tackle, but uh, I don't know, like I, I recall like commentators always commenting on how like shouldn't grab another player with two arms. So I don't know, maybe those were flagrant ones, and not flagrant twos. Later on about that, Amari and Chandler early on were not, we're not looking at were obviously trying to force them into, like, getting charge calls, and they really should have stopped that, as Miami was early on getting a lot of foul f shots, and, like, that was basically what really contributed to the beginning of their 30-point lead, starting just from the foul shots. Like, New York only started with, like, five, and they were all taken by Carmelo Anthony. Next on the list is, uh, the, um, the weird matchups that Michael... Mike Woodson was doing with their team. Like, some of these things really didn't make any sense. Why was J.R. Smith guarding LeBron James? Lebr Lebr LeBron James was, like, the MVP of the, all the NBA. Whether you like it or not, he's, like, the best player of all the NBA. And they have J.R. Smith guarding him. He's not one of the top defenders of the Knicks. Iman Shumpert, Chandler, Amari Stoudemire, Jared Jer Jeffries, if his knee was better. Um... Was Josh Harrelson. Of all the possible people to possibly guard LeBron James, I, I don't understand what, what was happening with this rotation and why nobody tried to help out Smith with this thing. I think Jeffries helped out in one shot when he was in front, and then J.R. Smith later had the foul anyway, but that was like a minor play, not a big deal. Uh, Steve Novak. I think he should be point guard because no, I I don't know if anyone's gonna guard him during the playoffs. They probably should, but since no one guarded him during like during the uh, regular season when he was like pass when he was tr 
charging towards, driving towards the rim, like, maybe he can ha handle being point guard during the rest of the playoff season, too. I don't know how long that'll last, but, I don't know, maybe for an emergency play we need to do for, uh, for, uh, game four or something, and we're, we're way behind, and then we come back with a game se seven upset or something. Jared Smith had some threes. He had some, uh, he was scoring, but he had some ball handling issues, which were the worst possible time for them to happen. Uh, game one of the playoffs. Just a shame that they had to happen there. He, I, I definitely like that he was scoring, though. Like, he definitely helped contribute to, uh, the points that kept uh, the Knicks alive during... What was this really awful game one for the playoffs? And for the bad su stuff about the playoffs. LeBron James is single-handedly ruining the NBA. I said it. There it is. Uh, the commentators really commented on those two really, really odd uh, fouls. And those images are just stuck in, in green in my head and... Thanks to the video production and, of course, LeBron James. I, I don't know if I can watch basketball anymore. Like, it's like a white-collar crime. People with millions of dollars lying and cheating and getting millions of dollars for it. Like, pretty much most of the lead in this game was just from him taking free throws from, like, stuff he probably overreacted to. Like, he made, like, 10 free throws out of, like, Miami 16 at a certain point in the game. And then Carmelo was only shooting like five of five. Like that was that was at the point of at that point in the game it was actually like half of Miami's points just from free throws. And uh, after the, after uh, those two flagrant the two flagrants that were well the two weird calls for foul on him like it was uh. There's this three he performed after, like, Carmelo Anthony was defending him. And that pretty much destroyed the men, men for the next whole game. Not to mention, Mon Shepard's big injury. That's pretty much self-explanatory. Baby was limping, but got better on. Jared Jeffries, again, was a bad coaching decision. He should not have been that game with that knee. He could not jump at all, so there's no way he could guard certain shots. Josh Harrelson had consistent field goals. He could definitely take Jared Jeffrey's spot defensively. And he could sort of play like like the Knicks' version of Blake Griffin. I don't know what's worse, worse about these playoffs. LeBron James and his weird fouls, Iman Shumpert's injury, or, or seeing Adam Sandler's next movie, 